Now I'm changing gears as I head north to a region nestled between two mountain ranges. The unique geography gives it ideal growing conditions for something which was also sacred to the native Taino. This is Santiago de los Caballeros, home to Tabacalera Palma, the most prominent tobacco grower and manufacturer of cigars in the Dominican Republic. To get me initiated to this hidden world of this traditional turned luxury product, I meet Jose Blanco, the heir to the Tabacalera Empire, right in the fields. We have a Kira 98, which is a Cuban seed. Well, it's, it's hybrid of a Cuban seed. So this one, Ordo Dominicano, the, the most planted seed in the Dominican Republic, because of you, you can get filler, binder, and wrapper out of it. And in, in tobacco, you can't, when you're looking for good tobacco, you don't measure it on the size of the plant or, or the size of the leaf only. You have to take into consideration thickness, because the thickness gives you how healthy the plant is. Okay. And the thicker the leaf, the more oils it has, the better it's going to ferment and cure. In the barns, the tobacco is laid out to dry. With the right aeration, the natural provenance of the Dominican climate does its thing. The smell is just divine here. You seem real passionate about this industry. What's your favorite part about it? Well, after smoking a good cigar, I'd say my favorite part is seeing uh, all the people I work with, uh, from the farm to the cigar making. Since it's all uh, hand, hand processed, you know, tobacco is picked by hand. It's uh, put up in the, the it's in the in the cujas or, or this how we tie it. It's by hand. We hang it by hand. We ferment it by hand. We we sort it by hand. So it's you're working with lots of people, and for me, the, the one of the most beautiful things is employing so many people. You know, before I smoked the cigar, knowing that 200 families uh, were helped because of the cigar ma manufacturing, and not only in the urban part where they make the cigars, but in the rural parts where they pick the tobacco and so and all those things. So, you know. It's it's you're it's always good to know you're giving back, you know? Yeah. And giving opportunities, helping lots of families that need it. Yeah, brother, I like your philosophy. That's great. Yeah, thank you, thank you. From the fields, Jose leads me inside to the actual manufacturing facility for Tabacalera Palma. This is definitely a road less traveled look into this hidden world of this luxury craft item, something the whole world covets. And finally, Jose takes me up to meet his dad, Hochi Blanco, the OG of the cigar industry. Hochi spends his day smoking cigars and blending leaves to curate some of the finest stogies. You were saying that there's a connection between tobacco and Taino? Oh well, yes, uh, the tobacco was with the Taino hundreds of years before uh, they, they were discovered. Uh, and was a really important part of their life. It was a, a cultural thing they used for parties, for share with friends, for enjoy, uh, for family. Uh, the tobacco was so important for them that they trade with all the tribes in the, in the Caribbean. It's not only in one, all the tribes in the island. Uh, and was part of, of their life. Interesting. Uh, what do you think it is about tobacco that attracted these first humans in the Caribbean? They tried it, they liked it. W what about it is so seductive to our species? Probably for enjoyment, pleasure, re relaxing, friends. It was like a gift, a, a friend relation. It's time to partake. that spice coming through the nose and it's definitely opening up new flavors coming through the the nose 
takes a little bit of intentional thought at this point. I've only smoked a cigarette before, which you're going to draw into your lungs. But wow, there are a lot of nuances in that. Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I love the ritual that the cigar creates, this little circle of connection we have, how it slows down the moment and roots everyone in an intimate conversation. I love the history of the cigar. It's amazing how many hands that each one passes through, how much attention and care it gets along the way. On the other hand, I'm not a huge fan of smoking. I probably won't do it again, except for moments like this. Tobacco, sugarcane, and breadfruit, the trinity of fauna which have casted powerful magic over the Caribbean, and from here to the world. <laughs>